Welcome to our YouTube channel, the Solving Math with Leonelin. Now, let's answer a question from random post na hindi ko i-reveal kung sino at saan ko ito nakuha ang question na ito. Basahin natin. Carla travels to school every morning using a motorcycle. Speed varies inversely to time traveled. Carla arrived at school in 20 minutes with a speed of... 40 kilometers per hour. How much speed will she need to arrive at school in 10 minutes? Itong problem na ito ay kayang sagutan within 3 seconds. At yan ay ipapakita ko sa inyo yung paraan kung paano ganun lang pala kadali. Within 3 to 5 seconds lang masasagutan to. Kaso lang, since given itong ganito, so, isolve natin isa-isa basi mismo sa pattern na binigay dito. Pero bago ang lahat para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin na wag na kayo mag-PM dyan kasi tambak na yun ang mga messages. Kung mayroon kayong concern, dito na lang kayo mag-message mag sa FB page na to, Free Reviewers Managed by Luna Lin. Otherwise, kung naghahanap kayo ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, direkta na lang kayong pumunta dito sa files sa FB group na to na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Now, basahin natin ulit. Doon muna tayo sa shortcut. Carla travels to school every morning using motorcycle. Okay. Speed varies inversely to time traveled. Yung first at second sentence na nandito, hindi yan importante. Ang importante, nandito siya. Carla arrived at school in 20 minutes with a speed of 40 yung 20 minutes na yan yung speed niya ay 40 km per hour 40 km then how much speed will she need to arrive at school in 10 minutes so dapat bilisan niya para maka-arrive siya in 10 minutes yung 10 minutes na yan ay half lang yan sa 20 therefore doblehin niya yung speed from 40 to 80, i-multiply natin ng 2. So, ngayon, since half yan siya, ito namang 40, i-multiply natin ng 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 80 kilometers per hour. Ganun lang siya kadali. Now, doon na tayo sa pinaka-detalye kung paano ito isolve. You see, speed varies inversely to time traveled, given na yan. Kung mas mabilis, Mas maiksi yung oras. Mas madali bali. Representation. S for speed. T for time. Tapos, meron din silang yung letter K dyan. Yan yung kilometers or yung distance. So, yung given dito. Speed 1. Ito yung speed 1 ay 40 kilometers per hour. So, nandito sa given. Yung time, yung T1, meaning yung unang oras, that is 20 minutes. So, meron tayong 20 minutes. Ang hanapin natin ay yung pangalawang speed at yung pangalawang oras. Anyway, yung second time dito ay yan yung 10 minutes. Given, man yung 10 minutes dyan. Basahin natin. Carla arrived at school in 20 minutes. Yan yung time. First, yung T1 natin. With a speed of 40 kilometers, kilometers per hour. So, yan yon. Next, wait. Next, how much speed will she need to arrive at school? So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Yung speed 2 or S2. Mayroon yang S2 dyan. In 10 minutes. So, given yung time 2, time sub 2, na 10 minutes. Yung equation. Ito yung lagi kong sinasabi when it comes to sa speed. No need na mag-memorize when it comes to yung equation, yung formula mismo dito sa speed, speed na yan. Kasi nasa given yan mismo. Yung speed na 40 kilometers per hour. Speed na 40 kilometers per hour. Ang kilometer, yan yung distance or yung 
pag present dito ay letter K, pariho lang yan siya, over, per hour means time. So, yan yung equation natin. So, ang nandito sa mismong given ay letter K. Okay. Yung letter K na yan, yan yung distance. So, ito na yung formula. Find the distance. Now, yung time na nandito ay minutes. Dapat i-convert natin itong 20 minutes into hour. Mayroon pala tayong kaka-upload lang na video regarding sa hour to minutes, minutes to hour, yung mga conversion natin. So, itong 20 minutes, kung i-convert natin into hour, hindi na natin yan i-detalye, yan ay equal sa one-third. So, this is one-third hour. Now, para ma-isolate itong K, itong K na yan, para makuha natin yung value dyan, since itong si one-third hour, since pang-divide siya sa letter K or sa distance natin, pang-multiply na yan sa 40. So, 40 times one Third. So, this is 40 over 3 kilometers. So, paano yan? Yung 40, yan yung speed. Diba? Yung 40 dito, yan yung speed. Ang speed ay kilometers per hour. Now, i-multiply natin yan sa 1 third hour. So, itong oras na yan, cancel na yan siya, at natitira na lang ay kilometers. So, we have lahat ng, by the way ha, lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroon yung automatic na 1 na denominator. So, multiplication of fraction tayo. So, this is 40 over 3. Now, kailangan natin itong simplify, itong 40 over 3. So, ito ay improper fraction. Para sa buong detalye kung paanong ito ay 13 and 1 third kilometers. Para sa buong detalye, pwede nyo i-search. Improper fraction. Improper fraction to mix. Tapos, idugtong lang yung leonalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload regarding sa improper fraction to mix to mix fractions or mix numbers. Now, ito namang 20 minutes. Paanong naging one third hour? So, i-search nyo lang yung time, kasi kaka-upload ko lang yung time conversion. Tapos, idugtong lang yung lunalin ulit para mas madaling mag-appear ba yung dati na nating na-upload regarding sa time Conversion. May pinapakita tayong technique doon kung paano mag-convert from hour to minutes, minutes to hour, mga seconds, days, yan, mga ganyan. So, balik tayo dito, 40 over 3, this is 13 and 1 third kilometers. So, itong 1 third, 13 and 1 third kilometers, yan yung distance. Ngayon, fine, dapat ito ay yung mismong speed. Yung pangalawang speed. Now, yung speed ay yung distance over time. Meron na tayong distance na 13 and 1 third. Pero ang gamitin natin yung 40 over 3. Tapos yung time naman natin ay 10 minutes. Yung 10 minutes na yan ay equivalent yan ay 1 over 6. Now, i-detail lang natin kung paano yan i-solve. Uh, ulitin lang natin, yung speed equals yung distance over time. Yung distance ay meron tayong 40 over 3 kilometers. Over yung time na 1, wait ha, yung 10 minutes. I-convert natin yan to hour. So, 1 hour, equivalent siya sa 60 minutes. So, ito ay i-cancel out na natin yan. Matitira na lang ay hour. So, ito isang 0 sa taas, isang 0 sa baba. Ang matitira na lang ay 1, 6. So, therefore, yung time natin ay 1, 6 hour. So, yan, i-divide natin, mag-divide tayo ng fractions. So, we have 40 over 3 
kilometers yan siya, divided by 1 six, one six R. So, ang apelyedo natin dito ay kilometer per hour. So, ngayon, mag-divide tayo ng mga fractions. Sa division of fractions, kopyahin natin itong 40 over 3. Ang division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni 1 6 ay 6 over 1. Sa multiplication of fraction, pwede nyo palang isearch ito. Multiplication of fraction. Para makuha nyo yung detali kung paano ito gawan. I mean, paano ito isolve. So, multiplication of fraction, dugtong lang yung lunalin. Para mapanood nyo yung previous na nating videos regarding sa multiplication of fractions. Kasi meron din tayo mga shortcut doon. So, ito, pwede namang it, ganito lang. 6 divided by 3 and that is 2. So, 40 times 2, this is 80. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay, kopyahin natin to 80 kilometers per hour. So, yan na yung speed dito. 80 kilometers per hour. For more examples regarding sa mga problems sa speed, Pwede nyo namang i-search yung speed. Again, uulitin ko, idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin na-upload regarding sa speed, rate, at time. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.